right, we'll keep an eye on the radar. Nothing to really watch. That's the good news. That's good news for today into tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, a different story. And we'll get to that in a moment. Let's talk about our current temperatures. It's very mild if you were headed out this morning. 59 in Memphis, the surrounding area is always cooler in Jackson. 49 degrees there, up to 60 in winds. You can see no matter where you're at, it's feeling pretty good for a morning walk. If you want to get out and about this morning, you don't have much to, to worry about. Now, as we get through the day, yesterday, if you're in direct sunlight, I mean, it does get a little warm pretty quickly. And uh, I am disappointed. It's my own fault. I left my Cadbury egg in the car. It melted. Doesn't mean I didn't eat it, but it did melt. As far as the rest of the day, we are going to see sunshine across the board. We are seeing a few clouds here and there, and they'll actually begin to build a little bit more as we head towards the evening. But that does not stop these temperatures. 63 at 9 as we head towards lunch. We're in the mid-70s, so definitely still patio weather because you have a nice breeze. Heading to a high near 80 degrees. And we'll get a little toasty today, so make sure you have your water, especially if you are someone who works outdoors. Now, as we head towards the evening, temperatures 75 at 7 o'clock. That should tell you something. 80 degrees for your high, 10 degrees above average there. 63 for the low, 13 degrees above our normal there. But 87, so we're actually not super far off from the record, but I'll, I'd take 80 for that. And then 32, what a cold spring back then. So, uh, again, no rain today. The sun is going to be coming up in about less than an hour and then setting uh, right around 730 just before it. So other than that, let's move ahead to tomorrow where the entire Mid-South is currently under a threat for severe weather, a level two threat. Uh, so we are seeing that slight risk for severe weather for the entire Mid-South, which includes large hail, damaging wind, flash flooding and the possibility of tornadoes. The threat is low, but it doesn't mean it can't happen. And it's something we take, of course, very seriously as we have with every threat. Now, when we look at the hour by hour again, not much really happening today. As you see, we get those clouds kind of coming in as we head towards the evening. Overnight, not much going on. Maybe a little cloudy and mild tomorrow morning, maybe a little breezy, maybe a few showers ahead of time. But most of that rain really starts to work its way in after lunch between about two to three o'clock with that line really approaching around four to five. That'll continue to move out, though, as we head towards the evening. So expect this to be a late afternoon, early evening, through the evening type event. So that's it. We'll be watching and Chief Meteorologist John Bryant will be tracking as well. So 80 today, 78 tomorrow, 90% chance of storms. So go ahead and just be prepared for that and make sure you have ways to receive updates. 73 as this front moves through. So sunny and a little cooler on Thursday. I'll take it. It looks pretty nice to me. 79 on Friday, 20% chance of rain during the day, 50% as we get towards the evening where you could see some thunder showers as we head towards the weekend. Not that bad, just minimal chances for rain and that carries us into next week. Now we'll take a look at what's going on in the roadways and the